Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jishan Karbanda. In today's video, we're going to be starting a new series on how you guys can code your own Discord bot using Discord JS v14. So this is the latest version of Discord uh, JS right now. So as you may know, in previous series on Discord JS, how you guys can code your own Discord bot in v12 and v13. But now those are outdated. So now the latest version is v14. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly step by step on how you guys can code your own discord bot from the beginning so this is a great tutorial if you're a beginner without further ado let's get started first thing that we're going to do is get the necessary tools that are required to get our discord bot project going so the first thing that you're going to need is node.js this will allow you to use javascript outside your browser so what you're going to do is download the lts version that's like the most optimal version uh, currently out there uh, the next thing that you want to do is get yourself a code editor so the one that i prefer and most other developers also prefer is visual studio code so all these links will also be in the description below so you can easily click on them so what you want to do is download the one that is compatible with your operating system once you have downloaded that what you want to do is head on over to discord developer portal again this link will be in the description below and what you want to do is go to this applications tab here on the left and as you can see i have some applications here these were previous tutorial bots that i created from the previous series you may not have any uh, application that's totally fine what you want to do is click on this button on the top that says new application and then you just want to give it a name so i'll just say v14 since this is a v14 series so then i'm going to click on create what we just created was not the bot itself but rather a container for a bot what you can do is give your application like a profile picture a description i'm just going to leave it as the default and what we're actually going to do is head on over to bot. And this is our actual bot that we're going to be um, adding to our Discord server and communicating with. So here are a couple of things about the bot that I would like to talk about before we move on. So first of all, we, as you can see, we have our name for the bot. I'm just going to leave it as v14 or actually I'll change it to v14 tutorial bot. You can give your bot a, a profile picture, but I'm just going to leave it as a default Discord avatar. For the token, I'm going to come back to that in just a moment. Over here, you can see it says public bot. So what basically that means is if you have this uh, option checked, anyone can add your bot to their own server. So since this is a development bot, I don't want anyone to do that. So I'm going to turn this off and um, this is up to you if you want to turn it off. Um, so if you turn it off, no one else will be able to add your bot besides you. Okay, um, next thing here are intents. You want to turn all of these intents on. Um, we won't be using them in this video, um, but we will be utilizing these intents in future videos. For example, one reason why you might want intents is to like, if you want your bot to welcome when new users join, you will need the server members intent. So I'm just going to turn all these intents on and save changes. And now here comes the permissions. So what permissions you want your bot to have? Since this is a development bot and it's only for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to give it administrator to make things easier. You can give whatever permissions you want to your bot. Um, certain bots don't need all permissions. So for example, if you're doing like a music bot, you don't have to give them bot administrator permission. But since this is going to be a development bot, I'm just going to give it administrator. Once that is done, head on over to OAuth2 and then we're going to go to URL generator. Here in URL generator, we're going to click on bot and I once again give it an administrator permission. And this will generate us a, a unique URL, which we can use to add to our own Discord server. So what I'm going to do is copy this. Now what we're going to do is create a new server for this place. We're going to say create my own and just for me and my friends. And we're going to just say v14 tutorial server and create. So we have our own little server all to ourselves. And now what we're going to do is paste that link that we got into the chat. And this will allow us to add the bot to our server. So I'm um, just do this H capture and success. And as you can see, our bot is in the server. Now, obviously the bot is offline because we have not programmed it. But as you can see, we have successfully added our bot to the server and we're good to go on that side of things. Now what we're going to do is set up our code project and get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is open up either terminal or command prompt depending on what, what operating system you're using. And then what you want to do is like create a folder where you're going to store all your code. It can be either be on the desktop or in a documents folder. I'm going to do that in the desktop since that's going to be convenient for me. 
Okay, so as you can see, I have created this new folder in um, my desktop. It's called 2023. And here I'm going to be housing all my program code. So what I'm going to do now is run over to terminal, cd into this so I can enter this directory. So to do that, I'm going to do type cd desktop. Since first of all, the first folder it's located in is desktop. Then I'm going to type cd discord bots. And then finally, cd into the 2023 folder. So now that I'm in the 2023 folder, I can start with my project. So the first thing that I'm going to do is ins install Discord JS. Important that you have Node.js installed, otherwise this command won't work. So what we're going to type is npm install Discord JS, and this will install all the necessary modules. Okay, so we have all the necessary modules good to go. And uh, as you can see, node modules and package log.json has been done. So now we're going to type is npm init and with the flag of y, which basically answers yes to all the general questions. And uh, as you can see, we have created our package.json file and we are good to go. We're going to open up Visual Studio Code now to in this folder. So let me do that right now. Okay, here I have my Visual Studio Code open to my 2023 folder. And what I'm going to do is here, head on over to our package.json file that we just created. And I'm just going to slightly alter this and type uh, SRC, which stands for source code. And what I'm going to do is add a folder and type source code, so SRC, sorry. This will house all our source code files. And what I'm going to do now is under an inside source code folder, type index.js. So in today's video, I'm going to essentially be showing you guys how you guys can set up the Discord bot and make it come online. In the next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys the command handler for slash commands. Since you know slash commands was a new thing in B13, and that's now a very popular thing in Discord bots. So we're going to be using that. Uh, so I'm going to be setting up the command handler in v the next episode. Okay, so to start off, we're going to type const embraces client gateway gateway intent bits embed builder this will be utilized when we're creating embeds and then permissions permissions bit field and then permissions is equal to require discord js okay next thing we're going to do is const client to find our client uh, client and then we're gonna new sorry new client and then intents and then we're gonna do gateway intent but bits dot guild and then gateway intents dot bit guild messages sorry messages messages and then gateway intent dot bits dot message content Okay, semicolon, good to go. Next thing I'm gonna do is create a ready event. So I'm gonna type client.on ready. And uh, for now, we're gonna just pass in no parameters. So we're gonna do open parentheses, close parentheses. I'm gonna do an error function, which is equal sign and then the um, greater than symbol. And then we're gonna do that. And then also we need to, sorry, parentheses right there. Okay, then we're going to do console, console.log, and then we're going to just say bot is ready. So this will just print out to the terminal or console that our bot is online when we run at the bot. Okay, and then what we're going to do next is just set it like a activity for a bot that will show on the bot. When you click on the bot, it will say what our activity, the bot's activity status. And just say subscribe to Deshaun Karmanda, like that. And then what we're gonna do is client.login, which will log into our bot, and we're gonna paste in our token here, actual token here. So let's go back to our Discord developer portal and see, let me tell you about the token. So let's go back to Discord developer portal and grab our bots token. So here we are back at Discord developer portal and we're gonna go back to our bot and then our, we're gonna see token here. So it allows us to log into our bot and it keeps your bot secure. So you don't want to share your token with anyone else, otherwise your bot can be compromised. For tutorial purposes, I'm just going to show you my token and I'm going to change the token after I finish recording this video. But make sure that you don't share your token with other people. 
So what you want to do is copy this token and you can reset your token anytime through the Discord developer portal. Back over to our, our Visual Studio code, paste that token in and save our code. And then open, do terminal, new terminal, and then do node space dot. So we're getting an error. Please verify the package dot has a main entry. Okay, so I realized when we made the change to package.json, we forgot to save it. Make sure you do that every time you edit your files. So now when we do node space dot, it should work. Okay, as you can see, it says bot is ready. And if we go to our Discord server, as you can see, voila. We've 14 tutorial bot, our bot is online. And we have the status of say it's saying playing a game and that is subscribe to Sean Karvanda. So you can see we have made our bot come online using a few lines of code. And what we're actually going to do is go back to our Visual Studio code and we're going to alter some stuff in index.js. So this is the crux of the code for this episode. But what we're going to do is make some slight edits to this and some modifications. So well, first of all, suppose like you're sharing your code with someone else, a friend or another colleague, you don't really want to share your uh, token. So what you're going to do actually here is get rid of the token. So just cut it for now. And what we're going to do is create a new file called .env. So what we're going to do is exit out of the source code folder, create a new file .env. Okay. And I'm going to type token is equal to that. Uh, so we don't need uh, single quotation marks there. We're going to go head back to index.js and now we're going to type process.env and then the name of the token, token. So for that to work, we actually need to require .env. So we're going to do require dot env and then we're going to do just config just like that we also need to install dot env so what we're going to do is just go terminal new terminal npm install dot env so that will install dot env and we should be good to go there next thing i want to do here is go back to a ready event if you remember me saying earlier in the video that we were passing in no parameters. We're going to change that now. We're going to pass in um, another parameter. Let's say X. Okay. And what we're going to do here is instead of saying bot is ready, back tick. And then we're going to do dollar sign. And then we're going to do X dot user dot tag. And then we're going to do is ready. So now that will give us our bot tag to us in the console. And just like that, we should be good to go with all the edits. Let's save the code, save the .env file, and let's run the bot. Also, we should kill the previous instance of the bot. So let's terminate that, and then let's run this. As you can see now, it says v14 tutorial bot, and the bot's tag 9044 is ready. And if we go back to our Discord server, as you can see, the bot is once again online. So there you guys have it. In this video, I showed you guys how you can set up your own Discord bot, get into your Discord server, get the necessary tools, and make it come online. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, share this video with friends and family, and comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video, and I'll gladly help. And in the next video, we're going to be going over slash command handler, so we can create fancy commands, or fancy slash commands like helping, like that. So we're going to be creating those commands. So, and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye.